Guys, we're back to Dezhong Zhonglu again, which is located in the old town of Guangzhou. It's actually pretty close to where we stay. You know what? After today, I've been so tired and I just oh, I can't describe it. Shall we have some soup? What's so special with the soup that you recommended? Because this one has been on Michelin Guide 2018. Oh, really? Yeah, shall we try let's it? Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. For today, we have the pro soup and the coconut chicken soup. I mean, those are the top seller here. Hey, look, this is actually made from a coconut. The coconut is actually really good for your health. It's removing the extra heat and water in your system. But when I recall all the Western soups, they're really thick and heavy, such like the French onion soup and the climb chowder soup. But a lot of the Asian soup are in a much lighter and clear way, just like Vietnamese pork broth. Wait, how do they achieve that? I think the cooking method is a little bit different. Instead of boiling everything, they actually steam it. You know what? Can't wait to try it. Wow. Hold on, I'm supposed to smell it first. I can't wait. What? Like, why? This smells like coconut for me. Of course it smells like a coconut. It's inside the coconut. What are you talking about? Alright, but can we like officially try it now? The steam actually helps to retain all the end control inside the soup. You know what? In the meantime, I'm gonna try some chicken. The chicken meat is way softer than I expected and also there's the coconut aroma inside the chicken meat. This actually tastes a little bit different than what I had in Hainan province. Instead of using young coconut, they're using mature coconut here. So everything is less sweetener but with a more strong coconut aroma in it. She's the pro, listen to her. I just can't wait to finish the whole thing. No, no, no. let's try the other one first. Moving on to the quail soup, are we going to smell it first? You go first. Alright. This smells like Chinese medicine to me. Not that strong though. Wait, wait, wait. I saw something in here. What is this exactly? It's Chinese ginseng. I think a lot of the uh, Cantonese soup will actually contain Chinese herb in it. I don't think I'll eat this now. You don't have to. But this one's supposed to be really good for your health. It's nourishing your yin and terrifying your yang. Really good for you. No wonder. So what if the local people drink this every day? Are they able to handle it? Yeah, I think so. They put the herbs in to accommodate the humid weather here in Guangzhou. No wonder I saw a lot of places in Guangzhou that sell soup. Let's try some. Sure. Feeling better now? I feel recharged already. Our last stop in Guangzhou is the Shangxiajou walking area. You know what? I really want to bring something back for my mom. Here is Lianxian House. Lian in Chinese means lotus. They're really famous for their lotus seed paste. I think this store is founded back in the Qing Dynasty, where people already using lotus to make the uh, today's lotus seed paste. Not only do they sell lotus paste the pastry here, but they also are the supplier for a lot of famous restaurants in Guangzhou. Let's go check it out. Lianxian House is really famous for their Chinese pastry. Their recipe has been used for over a hundred years. What we have today is their signature lotus seed paste one. Along with a wife's cake and a husband's cake. We also have some durian one. Wait, durian one? Yeah, but this one is more unique. They put a century egg in it. A lot of the Chinese pastry actually contain the whole egg or egg yolk in it. Mm -hmm. But century egg one, I never tried before. This is the first time that I heard that a century egg is inside the pastry. Shall we start with that one? Yeah, let's do this. Interesting. I'll give it a try, I guess. Not only it has the century egg in it, but also I think they put ginger in it too. Overall, the whole thing is really 
balance. It, you don't, you'll not taste the strong citrus egg flavor in it. But you guys, when you hear about thousand years egg or century egg, you want to try one. Start with with this pastry first. The flavor is way less than eating an egg directly. Yeah. I want some tea now. That one, right? That's yeah. the most signature one. I think they, this is what they are famous for. Mm -hmm. It's like raining here. <laughs> the skin is so flaky. You cannot make it. You cannot eat it without making a mess. I'll give it a try. It better be good because she's raining already. <laughs> the milk inside of it and the uh, the thing with the, the sweet the sugarness the sweetness is right on the point right yeah I, I really like the skin it's really flaky and it's melting in your mouth but not in the in those way yeah I really want the durian one durian one mm. you could definitely taste the durian in it sorry guys I'm not a big fan of durian. Sorry, all the durian lovers out there. I'm just, I tried, okay? The flavor is not as strong, but sorry. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, for those who enjoy durian, definitely try this one. The, it's perfect uh, combination with the, the, the skin. When I swallow it, I still taste the durian. Like, I'm such not a big lover of durian. But I think she's a durian lover and yeah, she I likes like it. it a lot. Yeah. We're gonna share this, even though we're not couples. Which one you want first? I think I'll get this, the wife one, right? Yeah, I'll get the husband one. Wait, no, I want the husband one. No, I got it. Why? Because I need husband. Fine. shopping area for Lianxian house. Which one do you want to get for your mom? I think I'll mix up something for her. I think she'll definitely like the signature one. Yeah, after all, they're, they're famous for. What about the preserved egg one? No, I don't think she can handle it. <laughs> all right, we're already lining up and yeah, let's mix and match. <laughs> I think this one looks nice. No, that's for the marriage. Wait, this is for people who just get married? Yeah, I think it's part of uh, their local culture. When they marry the daughter, uh -huh. this is part of their dowry. Oh, so it's a culture thing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, they even have a lotus seed paste here. They Oh, they even have the sugar-free one. I think it's an egg in this one. It has cranberry in it. The texture also has cranberry. Wow. Although Lianxian House has been working on passing down their traditional recipe But they also adding new elements to make their products even better